Here are three amazing exercises to master guitar triads really fast. Learning triads is a great way to build your overview of the fretboard and improve your solos. So here are some horizontal and vertical exercises to learn guitar triads. Let's begin. First, let's learn how we can construct a triad. There are four types of triads. Major, minor, diminished, augmented. So triad means three notes. And in terms of intervals, to construct a major triad, we need a root note, a third, and a fifth. So in a C major triad, we have the root of C, E, and G. To construct a minor triad, we need a root, a flattened third, and a fifth. So in a C minor triad, we have the root of C, E flat, and G. Now, to turn this minor triad into a diminished triad, we need to flatten the fifth. So the formula for a diminished triad is a root, a flattened third, and a flattened fifth. Now, to construct an augmented triad, we need a root, a third, and a sharpened fifth. So, in a C augmented triad, we have the root of C, E, and G sharp. Now, let's practice them. First, let's move up and down the neck, playing the diatonic triads in the C major scale. We're gonna start with the root on the 5th string. Once again. One more time. Thank you. 
Now without resting between triads. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing and thank you if you choose to support the channel on Patreon, where you can find PDFs of the exercises and much more. Now let's practice with the root on the third string. Once again.
one more time. Now without resting between triads. Once again. One more time. Remember, you can practice triads on the different groups of strings. Now let's explore the inversions. You can create an inversion by moving up the lowest note one octave. So in a C major triad, the root position is C, E and G. To create the first inversion, we move up the C note one octave. So the first inversion of the triad is E, G and C. To create the second inversion, we move up E one octave. So the second inversion of the triad is G, C and E. So let's play up and down the neck, the root position, the first inversion and second inversion of a C major triad.
once again. One more time. Now without resting between triads. Once again. One more time. Now let's practice on the first three strings. Once again.
One more time. Now without resting between triads. One more time. Once again. Now let's practice the diatonic triads on the first position of a C major scale. This exercise is helpful to recognize the patterns so we can use them on a solo. Remember to be aware of the triad that you are playing so you can learn the harmony of the scale. One more time. Thank you.
once again. without resting between triads. One more time. One more time. If you are looking for a great daily practice to get faster fingers fast, I have a video right here for you. You can go ahead and click into that now. I'll see you in the next video.